Welcome to Dumb Question Amnesty. We're not here to judge. Today happens to be National Ask a Stupid Question Day here on US 99, Chicago's hottest country. Jason and Katie in the morning. What's your dumb question? Three. We're not going to judge. 312-946-4995. This is it. We ask them all the time. Uh, why do you stare at like the when the ceiling blades go around and around on the fan? Like, why do you always stare at that? Like, why don't you stare at something else? It makes you fall asleep. I, I, is that just is a you thing, why? Jason? I think it makes you no, I, think there I don't know if this question has an answer. I think, I think there are other people that do that, too. I don't know. Okay. Catherine, you're in Hensdale. Good morning. You're on with Jason and Katie on US 99. Good morning. Good morning, Catherine. What is your dumb question? <laughs> I've always wondered. It took me till I was an adult to understand that pickles were cucumbers. Why are pickles called pickles? Why aren't they called pickles cucumbers? I actually do know the answer to pickles, that. Pickles cucumbers. Weird? You do? Yeah. It's, it's got it's, something to do with the word brine, too, right? Yeah, because it's a Dutch word. Like, I don't know how you say it really. In Dutch. It's like peckle or something like that. And it means brine. And so that's why it's called pickles here, because that's how it's it's referred to a pickled cucumber. Oh, it's a, so pickles are just pickled cucumbers? Yeah. I, yeah. And, you know, they've got pickled onions. I'm a big pickle fan, pickle, guys. Pickle, pickle beets. I, I'm, not, I'm not, a weird pickle fan. I, I, love, I love pickles, but I don't like pickled anything else. I don't like pickled onions or pickled beets or anything like that. Oh, that's a good like. question. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Catherine. Yes. You were just on Dumb Question Amnesty. Pickle, no judgments. Pickle day. That's right. Adriana, you're on the south side. Welcome to good it. Good morning. What, good morning. What's your dumb question? My dumb question, I always wonder, like, where they come up with the names of things. Like, how do you put letters together to figure out, like, what a spoon is called? Like, why isn't a spoon called something else? That yeah. You are asking, this is what my three-year-old asks yeah. me all the time. He'll say, well, why is the neighbor's cat a cat? I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's not like <laughs> mind-blowing no matrix stuff. Like, there is no spoon. You're like, yeah, I know. I called it. A, what if we called it a fork? That's a good question. Because, I don't know. Because... God created the fork. I don't know. I God I, created the no. fork. <laughs> I, that is my answer for everything. Okay. Yes. I mean, God named I'm the spoon. Teacher. Sorry. That's the I'm answer. So I get those questions all the time. Like, hey, like, what is, like, why is it called this? Or why is the color red, red? And I'm like, I don't know how to answer I, my Why is my the sky blue? Questions. Well, that has yeah, an answer, yeah, Jason. Right, that's yeah, that's yeah. a different question. The sky is blue because of the reflection of the water. No <laughs> patience for those sort of things. Like, honestly, when my three-year-old starts asking me questions like that, I, I don't. It just drives you crazy. No. Yeah. Uh, Becky, good morning. Good morning. Uh, where are you from? Hampshire, Illinois. Hampshire. Right. Okay, thank you for listening to US 99. You're on with Jason and Katie. What's your dumb question this morning? Why are the keys on the keyboard in reverse order than the telephone? Hold you, on. You mean on the, like the keypad? Yeah. Wait, now I'm looking at, I'm looking at my, my I know, now oh, I Because like too. the 789 are top, on the top. Yeah. Okay, I, can't, I, I know oh this one, gosh. too. Wait, wait, you know this <laughs> I answer? I do know this answer. She's right. I've never even noticed that before. How do you know all of these, I, I know weird, weird facts. But it's because it, when the telephone was invented, it was in the 50s or whatever, and data it was for data entry people who are used to using calculators. So when they used the keypads, that's what they were mostly using it for, data entry. So they're used to the calculators being in that order. So that they would, so they made the same as the calculator back in the day, and then they just never changed it because why change things? I guess. Well, why did they make the calculator backwards then? But, but the girl, phone, I don't know. <laughs> that's where the question then. Right? But, 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 but the phone wasn't in the fifties. The, the phone was or like in the eighteen hundreds. What? No, the Alexander Graham. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell in eighteen seventy. Yeah, but, but that was yeah. rotary phones when they came yeah, back yeah, with yeah. the dial. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. The dial. Okay. The well, dial it had nothing phone. to do with the right. phone. Yeah, it yeah. had to do with calculators. So okay. the phone came afterwards. So they just decided to make the phone. Gotcha. Opposite. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Dumb question amnesty. And no the computer such, came after the phone. No such thing as dumb R question here this morning. That's right. Scotty is a wealth not. of knowledge. You, you really, I know you really, really are. Scotty. I always watch that show How Things Work. So <laughs> you ever watch that? What? No, I'm the only one. What? No. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, 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 All right. You are. US 99.